My name is Alex Prowse. My wife and I were invited by Sir Frank Price, Chairman of British Waterways Board, in 1978 to moor our floating art gallery at Little Venice, London, with the idea of helping popularise Little Venice. My wife and I worked hard for 30 years to build a viable business. British Waterways issued a 25-year agreement for us to trade, but when the agreement was coming to an end, refused to renew the agreement. This is 1978 and Sir Frank Price, Prince Charles, Ian Gow, a letter from Ian Gow there, Sir Leslie Young, Chairman of the British Waterways Board, Ilya, Commission, a letter from David Ingman, congratulations, UK Waterways Holidays brochure, we we're backing them financially, British Heritage were keen to write up about us, Her Royal Highness, the Duchess of Kent, Commission work, Hilted Harrington writing up about the sad demise, as he saw it, of the waterways. Little Venice, and uh, where I lived for 30 years. Large crook, large blue. Looking across the pool at Little Venice, you'll see Barge Crook, and there I am coming out. Going to paint in the day in the summer, going to entertain the tourists. And, uh, paint on top of the barge. <coughs> this is a watercolour of Barge Crook and as you can see the other watercolours are views around Little Venice, the Toll House and uh, quite a few of these little houseboats that are in the pool at Little Venice and the surrounding area. The mooring fees, which have now gone up 200%, mean that we can't afford to stay here any longer. And we're going to try and sell the boats. We have a problem though. British Waterways say that we have nothing to sell. Barge Crook apparently isn't a working business. This is the interior of Barge Crook laid out ready for a conference. And as we know, the way to undermine a small business is to give them no security. They've sat on the agreement for many years now and stopped the agreement being issued. So we've got a real problem with that. When we've put the boat on the market, people have gone to see them and uh, they're not very happy with the replies that they're getting from British Waterways. So it looks as though we're going to have to accept an offer. Yes, British Waterways insists that we sell at the standalone value of the barges to them. They're a monopoly and there's nothing we can do about it. But this recording is proof of what's going, what's happening at the moment. Well, here we are, um, Little Venice. Barges bloom and crook after just over a year of being in British Waterways hands. As far as I know, they've not been let. Nothing's happened. I'm all right. <laughs> I haven't seen you for nearly a, a year. I know, well, I'm just going to I was going to see whether Alex Powell still was still alive. Ah, oh. We're going off to a Western party. Right. Up in Bedford. Oh, ah. right. What's happened to Jason's? I don't know. Not a lot. Right. You're out of it now, are you? I'm out of the whole thing, I'm going to say. What about British Waterways? You're out of them as well? Absolutely. Yeah. For what do you think of them as, uh, as people to run the canal? Are they. Uh, 
Uh, would they be responsible? What are you using this for, Alex? I'm using it. I'm using it because I'm going to make a documentary about what's happened to uh, Jan and I on the canals. And I think it's a great shame the way they treated us. Yeah. I dedicated most of my working life to being on the canal, and I was no Richard Branson, and I was outmaneuvered on most cases with the board. But I think in any other part of the country, British Waterways might have looked after me quite well. But Little Venice, which they considered the jewel in their family trove, they still haven't sorted out 35 years later. Now, you know that Jan and I ran the art gallery here and studio for nearly 30 years. Um, it must have been quite a shock for you to see that it was all closed down and, you know, mildew growing over the barges and... How do you feel about that? I found it very typical of the board's approach to things. They're very keen on developing land with good views over water, but actually using the water in this part of the world anyway, uh, and using the expertise of people, they're totally ignorant of even wanting to try. And your boats, which have now been sitting there for 18 months, God knows what they wanted. They had to play. They gave you peanuts for, for it, they forced you off, and now they're just letting them deteriorate. They're, they're letting them rot in actual fact, rot. aren't they? Rot. Yeah. Um, there are broken. Now, are they, uh... Uh, but, yeah, but I mean that's going to mean that the floors are going to be useless. I mean the whole thing will have to be redone. Yeah. And I'm not that inclined to go and advise them. No. Have they asked you to advise them at all? Not in the slightest. Okay. So you're the you're the person that could advise them to help them out of the pickle that they've got themselves in. I might have up until about two or three years ago, but uh, uh, when, when 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 I was told that I had to buy the boat which I was operating for them for a price which was f nearly four times more than the price that they got for it in the year. Yeah, I was wasting my time and I have wasted my time for 35 years. On this day, the 20th of May 2009. Come on David, speak up. The, um, apparently it's going at 7 o'clock tomorrow morning, Thursday. It will stop for a while now at Canary Wharf at their own dock and then eventually go to Greenwich, Deverell's dock. I'll try and find out a little bit more about who they actually are. It's now, just before 7, on Thursday the 21st May, and they're just about... So that's the end of Barge Bloom at Little Venice. This photograph shows Barge Bloom being fitted out at Eel Pie Island. And what a wonderful barge she was, 1935 Regent's Canal Barge. Working on the trip boats, people you know, people get onto the boat in Little Venice and they ask you what's at Camden. There are an almost infinite number of things at Camden, but if people get on at Camden and they ask you what's in Little Venice, the list is actually quite short. And now you're no longer there, the list is even shorter, because it, it used to be, well, there's a, there's a couple of nice pubs, a cafe, an ornamental garden, and there's an art gallery, and the guy who paints the pictures lives on it. <laughs> and that used to be practically the highlight of, of what you could tell people was in Little Venice. I'm talking about the actual fabric yeah, of the boats. Yeah, the boats, yeah. See, no, that's the, what I'm talking about. See, the, the boats were surveyed by two different surveyors. So those boats, there was nothing wrong with those yeah. boats. They were lettable, oh. rentable out, and, um, and they could have been rented out immediately. You, well, now, you see, that is what you need to say on that, because it, he gives you the cue by saying about left there to rot, yeah. right? So he gives you the cue, and what you've just said to me now should be in the text of the on the 16th of January 2010, I received this email from David Drew. Had British Waterways allowed us to sell our business to the two private buyers that wished to purchase, this would never have happened. 